Hi, I'm Peter Browning. I'm running for County Commissioner for District 2. I would very much appreciate your vote. The reason I'm running for Commissioner is I've grown, I grew up in this community. I lived in Whatcom and Skagit County growing up. I lived on a farm and uh, I find this to be one of the most best, fantastic places to live. I love the people. I love the environment. Everything about this is just perfect for me. However, there are some things going on that we need to really plan for and adjust for. One of those is we are heading into a bit of an economic downturn for government as a result of COVID-19. To be successful in this, we're going to have to be very clear on what are the roles of county government? What is the role of the Department of Health? What is the role of the Planning Department and the, and the, and the uh, uh, Public Works Department? And I would really like to start a new process in the budget process for how do you identify those specific roles? How do you then fund those adequately? And then there will be, re there will be money uh, left over after that. How do you allocate those dollars appropriately? And this is a really essential plan for us to go through. We won't have enough to do everything we've always done before. That's a given, and it's not a problem. So first, let's figure out what it is. What is the role of the health department? What is the primary RCW-driven role for the health department? And make sure we're clear on those and make sure we're doing those. What is the role of the planning department to make sure that we get ad adequate building going on in our community? Let's make sure we know which of those pieces of the planning department are absolutely must-dos. Public Works takes care of our roads, takes care of our flooding, has a tremendous amount of stuff for us. Let's make sure we're clear on are all of their functions absolutely necessary and required, or are there some things that need to be set aside for the secondary allocation of funds? So after we've done that, again, the police department, same thing, the sheriff's department, not the police, the sheriff's department, Make sure the Sheriff's Department is allocating for all those absolutely necessary funds, running our jail, things like that. Then we take whatever money is left over and we go through a very good community process for how does that money get spent. There are, we have a tremendous amount of projects going on. Some of them are just outstanding, but if we can't do them all, how are we going to decide which are those most important projects that we do that really serve our community best? And so anyway, this is my plan. I would love to allocate money differently and make sure that we're really staying focused on projects you can measure, outcomes, what those outcomes look like, and then use that to evaluate long-term. The final piece of this is I am not a fan of taking on every project that comes our way through the federal government with two to three years of funding. Very often, that's all we get, two to three years of the funding. And the goal is that we'll take over the rest of the funding after that point. Sometimes those projects don't necessarily serve our community well, and I really want to be clear on which of those are not necessary. Do fewer things and do them well, and that will be one of my stances forever and ever has been in everything I've ever done. You do fewer things and do them well, and if you do them well, then the federal government will come to us and say, you're a successful organization, here's enough money to actually get this project going, but it won't be the two years, it'll be ongoing, measurable. I know that's a lot to digest, but this is my thought about how we fund programming effectively in Skagit County and allocate money effectively in Skagit County, and I'd very much appreciate your vote. Thank you.